Are you ready for living in luxury living, detached homes, inventory, brand new? It's almost unheard of here, but you can at the Del Sol community. We're today, in our three-part series, we're doing part two. We're gonna be talking about the Novato series. This is the mid-range of this wonderful community. In this video, not only are we going to talk about the Novato series, but you're also gonna be learning about what it's like to live in this neighborhood. So if you want those answers, which I'm guessing you do, because you're here, then come along with us and watch this video. If you're also wanting to know what it's like to live live on the east side, then you'll want to go to our first video. The surrounding area features a mix of office, retail, and residential spaces. To the north, businesses like gas stations, a post office, and a few restaurants like Jack in the Box and Cafe 126. Sometimes you'll see a food truck. There's also St. Augustine School and medical offices, as well as some new apartments that are currently being built. Recent years, there's been a lot of residential projects being built in this area. And currently there's a proposal to have two separate car washes being built in the same little shopping center area where they have two gas stations already. Residents aren't very happy with that because they would rather have a supermarket or another restaurant instead of two car washes. Across from Del Sol, there is a beautiful trail that sides to a greenway, and on the other side is an older neighborhood. One thing to note is that there are sidewalks everywhere, making it really easy to take walks and enjoy this beautiful weather that's in Southern California. You won't just see homes and concrete in this neighborhood with many small parks and established trees and agriculture. You're going to be living in this suburban lifestyle and it's also just 15 minutes from the beach. Nestled within Mendocino Court, this intimate community comprises just 13 homes. Despite its modest size, these residences command attention with their stunning landscaping, elegant archways, and distinctive Spanish-style architecture. Constructed in 1990, these homes have no HOA, and prices start around a million. In the first video of this series, I talked about how there were little pockets of agriculture you're going to find interdispersed between the homes. Well, the homes are also kind of little pockets of communities, which means you're going to get a variety of different styles and different fills throughout this whole area such as the farm. the farm community stands out, offering amenities such as playgrounds or a dedicated dog park and organized children's activities such as an outdoor movie night and various events. This community was built in 2018 and residents love it and are out all the time enjoying others' company and the amenities. Single family homes start in the 900s and do not have an HOA, while the townhomes start in the 700s and have a low HOA of less than $300. Backing up to the Del Sol community on Linden Drive, you'll find charming homes dating back to the 1950s, and they're situated on spacious 9,000 square plus lots. While these homes offer generous yard spaces, it's worth noting that most of these properties are not updated, with homes starting in the 700s. The Country Estates is a 55 plus manufactured home community where you own your own lot and enjoy a low $250 HOA fee. With homes ranging from the 1960s to the early 2000s, they're priced in the mid 200s to the high 400s. It's very quiet here and offers the serene atmosphere where friendly waves and well-maintained lots welcome you home. The Parkland's apartments are located on the other side of Del Sol with a gulch located between the two. And Parkland's apartments are newly built and for the most part, quiet. <laughs> Actually, one of the biggest complaints is that the noise from the construction of Del Sol is making it difficult to live there. And also it was noted that the noise from the highway also can be bothering. And this is a good thing to keep in mind when you're buying a home within Del Sol. Homes closer to the center of the development of Del Sol generally are gonna experience a lot less noise, while those in phase four are likely to be more affected by that traffic noise. If you're interested in buying new construction, then make sure you contact us first because we not only offer you five-star service, but also a 10% rebate of our commission back at the time you close. 
The videos and the models show tons of updates. However, the pictures are supposed to represent the standards you would get in a base model home. However, visuals may depict designer features, optional items, and other upgrades that may be available at additional cost, such as the bathrooms with the showers with the bench. That bench is extra. And some of the vanities that have an extra drawer. You'll want to ask the design center what are the upgrades and what are standard at the time of purchase. We all love model homes and it just really shows us what we can do with a house. However, sometimes you wonder what are the upgrades? What does it really come with? So let's take a little walk through model one. The other day I was showing this model to some of our clients and of course the first thing that their child does is go into the closet and run all the way back and say, I like this area. In the living room, the surround sound and the can lights are upgrades. An upgraded option is to have wiring behind your television. First thing that stood out to me is on the island there are some plugs. This is an upgrade, but one that I think would really help with the quality of life. The base model will have this trash hideaway. One of the things that really popped out to myself and our clients are the Novato series actually has gas top stoves. Now, for those of you who don't live in California, you may not be as surprised as we were, but you, you are no longer allowed to build homes with gas stove tops. However, it seems that Novato pulled the permits before that law happened, so this is going to be one of the only new construction areas in California, especially in Ventura County, where you're gonna get this. unit has an optional barn door separating the primary bedroom from the primary bathroom. All the combs come with a standard medicine cabinet and it's actually an upgrade not to have one. I always love the window that's in these showers and also the window in and also the window in the walk-in closet because it just brings in a lot more light. What I noticed in some of these Nevada homes is that when you first walk in, it does feel little enclosed, but then it just really opens up. And I think the reason for that is they really are trying to use every part of the space.
kitchens have the same kind of feel also, but the dining room over here is a little bit smaller than you've seen in the other models. Because it's standard, you're gonna have that same little trash hideaway. The garage does feel a little more separated in this model because you have a little nook here. I do like how this model, you walk right up and it goes into the loft area and right off of the loft area, you have a balcony. Even though the space is smaller than in some of the other models, it does make it feel a little bit larger because of this balcony. Another thing I like with this model is that there's a hallway with all these windows, but if you're located really close to another home, then you're just gonna be looking at that other house. And here's that upgraded mirror door again. This side, that side. The first thing that happens when we take anyone into the Model 6 is the wow factor. I, I just, everything is basically upgraded in this home. It is just, oh, so beautiful. figure everything in this kitchen is upgraded all the way from the sink to the faucet to the appliances. I mean, this is somebody's dream kitchen. I think it might be mine. One thing that Shea Holmes is known for is their use of space. Everything is well thought out. All the way from the extra storage in the closet downstairs to this beautiful loft with a balcony.
finishing touches in the primary bedroom are what you see in custom homes, from the copper ceiling all the way to the wine fridge, or the beverage fridge. One of the things that our clients have really pointed out that they love about this home are the separated sinks. And in the closet, you have this dual-sided mirror, which of course is an upgrade, and, and the organizer in the closet is also an upgrade. One of the things I love to show off is of course my favorite thing, this accordion door, which just opens up the whole space making you feel like the outdoor is part of your house. I went a little bit out of order, number five, because plan number five really surprised me more than any other model. I mean, don't get me wrong, the other models are absolutely beautiful, but this one, I was just like, really, this is not a fresco? While the kitchen coloring is a little dark for me, the waterfall edging is just beautiful. Of course, all of the appliances are updated. Look at this fridge, it's taller than me. has the standard sliding glass door. And one of the reasons I love the accordion door even more is because you'd have this wall kind of open up to the outside, just making it flow a lot better. In my opinion, I think that would be the upgrade that I couldn't live without. I would have to convince, no matter the cost to Bart, that this would be what we need, because I think definitely for resale value that it just ups it. It just ups the game. You can always change counters later on. You can change your appliances, but something to do with how the home is built is going to be a lot harder to do. That being said, the same goes for the lot size. If you can afford it and your dream home can be on a larger lot, I would go with the lot size and the accordion door. When I walked into this main level bedroom bathroom ensuite, the first thing I thought was, is this the primary bedroom? It's really large. And it's not as large as uh, Model 6's primary bedroom and bathroom ensuite, but I still was going, this would be really nice for my dad or my mom or me to stay in. And the loft isn't as large as some of the other ones, and that is because You've got to see the master suite. Recently, I measured a tiny home, and I believe that this primary bedroom is larger than that house. It's huge, and you have this little sitting room, or exercise room, or library, or whatever you wanna do in here. As you notice in some of the other primary bathrooms, they had gotten rid of the tub and this one is here. Even the 
extra bedrooms for your kids are large. Your teenager would be happy with this. Once again, I love the little touches of extra windows, just bringing so much light in, even into the bathroom. But it's high enough up that I'm not gonna feel nervous taking a shower. One thing I'm noticing as I'm looking out, I do see that some of the stucco is already cracking, so you're going to really wanna make sure when you're doing your walkthrough with your agent, hopefully you have an agent, that um, you're making sure the stucco was, isn't already showing signs of um, deterioration. The lots that the Novato homes are on range between 3,000 and 4,000 square feet. And of course we can't measure the model ones because they're gonna be on luxury lots, really upgraded. So we're gonna measure from one home to the other home using my handy roller. These two homes are about eight feet away from each other. Let's see if that's a standard. These two are about eight and a half feet away from each other. So, so most likely the space between the Nevada homes is going to range between eight, eight and a half feet. When I'm looking over at the Fresco homes, now those homes have a lot more space between them because they're on lots that range between 3,000 all the way up to 9,000 square feet. So if you want a lot more space, then you want to watch the next video in the series. So if you're interested in the Nevado or any of actually, or any of the other areas around the Del Sol neighborhood that you got a glimpse of in this video, please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us over an email. We would love to help you find your perfect home and give you that 10% back. And if you're selling your home in order to find your dream home over here or anywhere else in Ventura County, then you know who to reach out to because not only do we give our buyers a great incentive, we also give our sellers one.